I think the root of the problems in climate change can be traced largely to deforestation. And conversely, the solutions also lie in forest conservation and increasing forest cover. So, the, the, the role that forests will play now and in the future is, 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 is primary and it's very critical if we want to have any meaningful progress on the climate change discussions. Yeah, I mean, Nigeria is a very good example because we've been able to achieve uh, to transform from just an observer to a full red participating country under 18 months. And um, I think it's one of the fastest in the world. And we were able to do that because we, even though we started a little bit late compared to some other countries in, in Africa, we had the political will and we had the ability to tr translate this political will into action on the ground. So we moved in quickly and um, put in the required uh, seriousness that needs to drive the process and we were able to do that. And in, 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 in doing so, we had the benefit of uh, looking at the process in the preceding countries and learned from some of their uh, challenges rather than mistakes and um, we were able to overcome some of them and um, we also felt that the forest dependent communities and their concerns are of primary importance if we want to move forward with, with RED and without their buy-in, that is their decision to um, get involved and actively participate, uh, you won't be able to have any successful RED uh, uh, process in any country. The dependence of the rural people on forest resources is so huge that it exerts a lot of pressure. There is a very high rate of deforestation in Nigeria. And if we really need to move forward, we, we need both technical as well as financial support because a country that loses about 300 to 400,000 hectares per annum of its forest and means that we have to do, to, to reverse that trend, we have to do twice that in terms of our recovery. And, uh, so, so, so that's the big challenge. And to do that, to try to address that challenge means that we have to take uh, multi-sector and multi-level approaches. Otherwise, uh, we'll be able to get there. It's funding, it's the issue of finance, and um, even though there are uh, indicators that probably uh, we might get serious commitment, but um, the earlier these commitments uh, translate into reality of, of real action. These funds and reaching the, the, the forest dependent communities who are the custodians of this forest, um, the better. So whatever it is that needs to be done to, to fast track uh, this process uh, will go a long way in, in supporting countries like Nigeria.